Okay, so this video is going to be uh, a base 6L80E video. Um, I've already done the 4L60E video. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, but there's a few extra things that you need to do on the 6L80E. Um, so again, you want to have the Blue Cat program. Um, I'm trying to remember here what it's called when you want to download it. Give me a second here. BC Trans. So you want to download this BC Trans tool. Um, so from here, you want to select your vehicle. And we have a 2013 Camaro SS Auto. So 6L80E. From here, we select 10 plus Camaro. Um, you want to have the right gear ratio. This is an automatic, so 327. Um, and then a 27 inch tire. Um, so one of the first things you want to do is if the tire size is different you want to go to the gear tire wizard see so right here this actually is a 27.79 inch tire so we'll make sure to change that on the tool but you'll see the current gear and tire if your tires changed at all you know let's say it's a 30 inch tire and your gear is the same let's see yeah, I don't know. It's giving me an error. I must have typed in a comma somewhere. There we go. See, multiplier, adjust speedo, scale transmission, you hit adjust. Okay, so you want to do that first. Uh, then from there, you want to go set up your tool. So you want to have your tire size correct, your gear ratio correct. Um, you're going to want to have your transmission correct. You want to have your car correct. And then you want to set your maximum RPM that you want to shift at. Uh, from there, you want to hit export, export window. From here, you're going to want to select, which is Gen 4, 6 speed. Okay. Go back to your file, hit transmission. You want to go to shift scheduling. And first thing you want to do is open up this right here, normal. Okay. You're going to hit copy table. And hit paste. Notice how the miles per hour changed uh, for the extra RPMs. Now I just set this one at 6800. My personal Camaro I would have it slightly higher than that. So you're going to do that for normal, pattern A, pattern B, and then hot usually. Hit next. Okay, you get your fifth, your fifth gear table. Copy it as well. Paste that in there. Then you're going to go to six gear. Paste that in there, and you're going to want to do that for normal, A, B, and hot. Normally is what I do it for. Then you're going to want to go to wide open throttle shift, hit normal, copy table, same thing. Paste that in there. Um, on some cars, this is going to be a two-column shift table, so you just hit two-column, uh, but it's a one-column on this car. So you're going to do the same thing for fifth gear, sixth gear, same thing, normal through hot. Then you got your wide open throttle shift RPMs. Paste that in there. Same thing, fifth gear, sixth gear for all those. Okay, then you have your torque converter table. So, torque converter, apply release. You know, you want to copy this here and paste it in there to change the numbers you know this makes it so it doesn't lock in first or second you can also make it so it doesn't lock in third gear by going back to here and changing minimum gear to four so you're going to do that for normal a b hot again you know then you're going to want to go over and do fifth gear sixth gear um, and then you're going to want to do torque converter wide up throttle shift table you know, same thing. You're going to want to paste it in there. And then you're going to want to do fifth gear and sixth gear as well. And then that's that's done for the Blue Cat tool. It's a great starting point for your shifting for the transmission. Uh, from there, you're going to want to go to shift pressure. I typically go to max line pressure here. And I only increase it by 5%. So 1.05 and hit times increases that table by 5%. I go to upshift, and I typically, for most people, I come in, add 5% for second, second gear, 
and 5% second third gear and sometimes third to fourth some of these shifts it doesn't really matter if they're firmer because you're going to be doing 100 miles an hour when it happens so whatever but if you notice here general your shift x is for everything on this one so i only mess with pattern x um, i leave downshifts alone personally um, i don't really care to have a super hard downshift um, i go to shift timing Upshift here, and then I typically take away 5%. So I take 95 times. And I do the same thing. Um, first to second, second to third, third to fourth. Now, it's up to you. You can, you can do this to every table you want. You can play with it. You can adjust it. You know, you can mess with any of them here. But, you know, I just base. Just these is good enough for me. Transition time. Uh, I don't really mess with the transition time too much. Uh, that's up for you to play with. I don't touch downshifts rarely ever. Let's see. Mm, torque converter. If you have anything in here, zero it out. This AC off torque converter slip. If there's anything in there, zero it. Uh, DOD slip on this car, it's disabled, but on some trucks, it'll be enabled. Um, you know, you're going to want to zero this out because you're turning the DOD off or you just hit disable here. And let's see, torque management. So this table's already been modified. So normally these are one all the way down. So normally I come in and I make them 0.7 all the way down I find that's a good a good number to stay at I I don't recommend going any lower than that I feel like that's that's the maximum especially for somebody who's a beginner um, so I mean that's pretty much all you need to do on here as a base um, I don't really mess with any of the torque management on here uh, it's up to you if you want to mess with some of the torque management um, you know it can um, I highly recommend only doing one table at a time if you are going to mess with it. You know, if you're going to, you know, save this, drive it around and see what you like, get on it, and you're like, oh, you know, uh, I can feel the torque management kicking in, then you can come in and mess with things one table at a time. But don't try to do too many things at a time when it's related to the torque management because uh, if something goes wrong, you're going to be fighting yourself uh, to try and get back to where you were. And so that is going to be that for the basic uh, 6L80E uh, trans tuning.